Yeah, the last week has been awesome. Um, you know, obviously, Friday, got the call, and I was with uh, my family, you know, some of my close friends, and um, we just kind of, you know, enjoyed that night. And then this, the last few days, we've just kind of been getting ready for, for coming out here and working out and, you know, all that. How many times have you seen that video? It's crazy, the reaction, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I only watched it about two times because, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's still kind of weird to, to look back at that right now. How much did you talk to your cousin Austin about this, throughout this process, but also just in coming here, what to expect and, and things like that? Uh, I talked to him a lot. He was my trainer for, um, like, my wide receiver coach, basically, for the last three, four months or whatever. So um, almost, you know, every day, um, I would say. And, uh, you know, he's taught me a lot about football and kind of, you know, what to expect in the NFL and all that. Anything what, specific that you've carried with you that you really took to heart when you told? Um, pretty much just don't take anything for granted and, you know, come in, work as hard as you can, and uh, good things will happen. When did you finally talk to your dad? Because I think he was in the middle of a game. Yeah. That's how it happened. Um, it was around, I don't know, probably two hours, two and a half hours after I got drafted. Um, yeah, like I said, it it happened right before the first pitch, and so he actually, um, he saw it. He ran inside because it was like right after the National Anthem or something, and he ran inside. He was like, there's a few minutes left before the first pitch, and so um, he comes in, and he saw that 49ers trained it up, and he was like, oh, hold on, wait a minute. This might be it because I know that they were, I know they were interested in Dante, and so he, he saw that, and then, you know, sure enough, they, you know, announced it, and, he was going crazy in there, and so, um, yeah, it was, it was cool. And what was that father-son conversation like? Um, really, so it was, I FaceTimed him with uh, the rest of my family, so uh, we were all just really excited. How did your college recruitment work? I know Peterson was hired at Washington, and, and mm -hmm. did he discover you because he coached your cousin at Boise, or were you already committed to Washington? He, no, I was, he was recruiting me at Boise State, okay. and so, um that was, I mean, yeah, I was kind of through my cousin. Um, it wasn't l until, like, October of my senior year, though. Um, so it was kind of late. And then, obviously, he took the job at Washington in, like, December. And then that's kind of when, you know, he was like, hey, we still got a spot for you if you want it. And so um, went out there and visited. And, yeah. Where do you think you would have ended up had Coach Pete not been hired at, at Washington? Um, if he stayed at Boise State, I probably would have gone there. Um, if not, it would have been San Diego State. Do, do you know whether you can take part in all the OTAs and all that stuff? It's my understanding that I can. Um, I think that they changed the rule this year. Okay. And, I mean, if they didn't, then I had been lied to for the last four months. So <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Does that mean that you you graduated? I haven't graduated yet, okay. no. Do you do you come into the NFL? I mean, with what you did at Washington as a punt returner, and also what you could do as a receiver, what do you set out as your goal? Like to to besides being an all-around team contributor, do you mm -hmm. want to be uh, a punt returner, like the best in the league, or do you just want to be one of the other receivers? How does it work? Um, rookie years, you know, obviously I want to do. I want to play as much as I, you know, as like as much as I can. But um, I've been around sports enough to know that. It doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes there's a learning curve. Sometimes there's just someone ahead of you that's better. Um, and there's really the only thing you can do is just come in and work as hard as you can every single day. Uh, so, like I said, I have, you know, stuff that I want to get done. But um, I do know, you know, like I said, I've been around sports enough to know how that all goes. Well, what do you, have you patterned yourself or, or want to go after any, like, of these great punt returners that the NFL has had? To be honest... I haven't, you know, thought about it that much. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of view myself as a receiver, mm -hmm. not really a punt returner. So um, everything I, you know, aim for is kind of is receiver wise, not much really yeah. for punt returner. So is it more like uh, is it more like a, what, what do I have to do to get on the field? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, you know, you just want to play your rookie year, whether that's on special teams or, you know, on offense. You want to just get on the field, kind of. Get your feet wet. How do you describe, or what would you say your best attributes are as, as a punt returner, and, and what do you think is going to be the biggest adjustment jumping to the league as, as a punt returner? I think um, 
my best attributes is probably like my decision making, um, and I'm pretty aggressive in the return game too. So um, you know I won't I try not to let too many balls hit the ground. Um, try to catch everything, and uh, you know I think it's going to be a little bit of a transition just because better players. Um, so you know you can't just be more athletic than someone or run around somebody. You have to really trust the blocking even more and um, figure out different ways to, to get past people. Were, were you able to run before your uh, before the draft at all? Yeah, I was. Was it? I saw. I think I saw four four seven. Is it? That... Yeah, that was okay. all right around there. At yeah. the at the pro day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know your couple more guys. Your last year at Washington, you got to line up everywhere. Not not just inside outside receiver, but also sometimes in the backfield. And mm -hmm. I know that that Kyle Shanahan. Um, he, he's big on that kind of versatility. He yeah. likes one of their big signings. McKinnon this year can do everything. Mm -hmm. Was that something that he talked to you about even in the pre-draft process? Or yeah. That, that kind of being able to line up anywhere? Yeah. Uh, that's why, I mean, that's why he said he liked me so much was because he knows that I could move around and, um, you know, I didn't really have a problem with it. And so uh, that was one of the things that he, he mentioned to me was that he would like to move me around and see what I can do. What do you see as your best? <clears throat> attributes as a receiver. What do you take pride in? As a um, I think just my like overall athleticism. Um, you know, my speed and quickness, in and out of breaks, my you know jumping ability, all that stuff. And then uh, how I run routes. I feel like I you know run pretty good routes, and um, you know I take a lot of pride in that. You've been preparing for Last this one, for 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 a long time, and you you just have have such an interesting pedigree. I mean, your your mom was a Raider rat. We we know about your dad. I mean, you get. Probably mm -hmm. still have peeps in Oakland everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, do, do you look at that and go, well, here comes another chapter in the in the Pettis family album? Yeah, kind of. I mean, there's a lot that has gone on, uh, you know, especially in the Bay Area, you know, my dad coming from here and all that. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to, like I said, add to the, you know, to the book and, um, you know, we'll see what happens. You have fond memories of playing here, obviously the Pac-12 title game a couple of years ago, and yeah. playing in the stadium then, and now you're going to be playing in it for your career. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm undefeated here, so that's, we'll see, you know, we'll see if I can keep that up.